Imagine if there was no more worries left. You know how good that will feel. No more worries. No more worries ever left. You don't have to worry about bills. Worry about people ill in your family. You don't have to worry about the doctor. Because there's no doctors in Jannah. Sorry guys, got no job in Jannah, yeah? You, there will be no one to there will be no dentist in Jannah. There's no toothache in Jannah. There's no bellyache in Jannah. There's no headache in Jannah. There's nothing to worry about in Jannah. Imagine getting into there. Once you get into there, it's haram for you to come back out. You can't come back out. Only Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the only one that can get into Jannah and come back out. Anyone else that goes into Jannah, they cannot come out. Not that you want to come out. Imagine, imagine having no la hope there's no fear there's nothing to worry about nothing absolute to worry about imagine what you would do now one question i ask kids when i teach them and i've just done this today i did i've done this every time i talk about jannah to kids and i'm not talking to adults all right the question is what's the thing that you will wish in jannah so you know what kids say i want a house of chocolate <laughs> You tell them, what do you tell them? You tell them, Inshallah. If you want a house in Jannah of chocolate, Allah will give you a house of chocolate in Jannah. Say that to them. Because a Bedouin came to the Prophet ﷺ and he said, Messenger of Allah, he said, will I get a red camel in Jannah? <laughs> a red camel. Prophet ﷺ said, if you want a red camel in Jannah, you will get a red camel in Jannah. <laughs> So if you want a red Ferrari, some people are probably thinking right now, I want a red Ferrari in Jannah. Well, I'm going to say to you, if you want a red Ferrari in Jannah, you get a red Ferrari in Jannah. But I, I don't think you will want a red Ferrari in Jannah. You will not want it, honestly. But anyway, doesn't matter. You know, imagine, like that Bedouin, his biggest thing was a camel, but a red camel was the fastest camel. It was the best camel you could race along in the desert. And it was the most reliable camel. So he wanted that. And Rasul said, you want that, you'll get it. We're going to ask for a red Ferrari or a red Lamborghini or whatever, you know, whatever you want in Jannah. And the thing is, when you get to Jannah, you're not going to want that. There's going to be things. Rasulullah said, Ma la ra'at, no eye has seen. Wala udhunun samiyat, no ear has heard of. Wala khatara ala qalbi bashar, no mind has ever thought of. Those are the things in Jannah. But anyway, let's go on imagine. It doesn't matter. You just imagine. So I ask a kid, what do you want? They say, like if I ask my kid, he says, he says, I want Thomas the tank engine. And he wants the whole of the, the characters in there. So I get them to think a bit more. I said, you know, do you like theme parks? They said, yeah, I like theme parks. You can have the biggest theme park you can ever get. So one of them says to me, he says, yeah, that'd be really fun. I'll basically go on my theme park and I'll go down in a roller coaster. Wee, 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 wee. And at the end of it, I'm going to get my friend, make him stand there. And I'm going to basically kick him on. <laughs> Say, yeah, why? Because no one can get hurt in general, right? So yeah, you can kick him for a joke. Yeah, he's going to go flying back, bouncing back and he's going to come straight back where you are. Right? Imagine. Just imagine, right? I, you ask him, what do they want? They, one, one, one kid said to me, I, I want to eat from one end of the day to another end of the day. <laughs> Son, you can eat. Right? One another one said to me, he said, I want to sleep all day. You want to sleep in Jannah? Go and sleep in Jannah. You know, when you get to Jannah, you want to sleep there, right? But you tell them you want to sleep in Jannah all day. You sleep in Jannah all day. You want to eat there all day, you eat all day. Now, what will adults say? Guys, first thing comes up, Hurun Naeem. Yes? Now, guys, inshallah, next session we'll talk about Hurun Naeem. Yes, yeah, so you're going to have to wait till the next session. I don't want to talk about it now because some of you might end up having a bath by the morning. Right? You might need one by the morning. So we'll keep that for the next session. Come prepared. We'll maybe next prepare our clothes. Whatever, we'll talk about Hurun Naeem, right? Next time. But imagine, you got to imagine. I don't want you to sit there and, and start talking, you know, and thinking how beautiful they're going to be in your mind. That's wrong. But what you can imagine is what Allah has kept in terms of rivers, gold palaces, food, the trees, and plenty of other things. Keep motivating yourself with these things. Remember it. When, it when it comes to you feeling, ah, oh, I feel like, I'm already in Jannah now. Then talk about Jahannam. Think about Jahannam. Inshallah, in the next session, 
we're going to think about Jahannam and talk about Jahannam and the things in Jahannam because it's a horrible place. Boiling water, iron, you know, there's going to be rods in there, snakes in there, scorpions in there, fire in there, mountains in there, you know, people having their intestines burnt out, you know, whole bodies, you know, skin being stripped off, being put back on together. You know, you've got to put yourself in that. Imagine this is happening to you and then basically feel that you need to do some more amal and actions. And then think about Jannah. Then think about Jahannam. Hope and fear have to be balanced in this manner. Inshallah, be that you will do this. Jazakumullah khair.